Hey there, it's Katie from Health, Wellness, and Chocolate, and you are listening to the Health, Wellness, and Chocolate podcast, or you're watching it on uh, YouTube. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you today about weight loss strategies and how they are kind of like shopping for clothes. Now, I hear you. If you are struggling with your weight, um, I am sure if you're anything like me, the last thing you ever want to do is go shopping for clothes. And that's why I kind of thought like, you know, really like, when you're frustrated with um, the size of your body and um, you need to go either start a diet, right, or shop for clothes, they're pretty much both horrible <laughs> in, in every respect. So I wanted to kind of encourage you today and um, hopefully give you some perspective and some tips when it comes to your weight loss strategies. And and hopefully you find it encouraging and you don't give up when it in this area, okay? So... If you think of when you go shopping, right, the store has bottoms and tops of different sizes and colors. So imagine you're walking into your favorite store, your favorite clothing store, and there's tops and there's bottoms and they're all different sizes and there's all different colors and you can walk through, there's clothes up on the wall, there's outfits put together on mannequins, there's, um, you know, one piece dresses, there's skirts and pants and tops and blouses and sweaters, right? There's the plethora. There's so many choices. Imagine the diet industry and you think like, wow, there are so many choices, right? There are so many eating plans. There are so many weight loss strategies, right? That's almost this, it's very similar to like walking into a store and you just have all these different options of clothes that you can wear, okay? And so really you you kind of, you walk through and you, you might pick something up off the rack. You see what catches your eye, what colors do you like? What makes sense um, for your lifestyle, right? As, as someone who's a nursing mom for so long, you know, buying like a tight silk shirt made absolutely no sense, right? Like, especially if I'm nursing, you know, like wearing anything tight and like silky would be crazy. Okay, but like you see what makes sense. Like you consider your lifestyle, you consider like what it is you're gonna be doing, um, your budget, like do you even have money for this, um, my husband works in New York City, so sometimes he goes into some of the higher end districts, and um, there's a really high end clothing store he went into, and he said there was this beautifully made um, wrap. He's like it was gorgeous, but the price was fifteen thousand dollars, which I don't know about you, but I don't have it like that. <laughs> like that would be like such a that would I would never own something like that. But he said it was so beautifully made. So you there's like there are clothing out there to, to fit all the budgets and all the tastes for every season of life that you're in, right? You can dress like as a mom, I dress more for comfort and utility. Um, you know, I, I'll i be going outside later. So I just have my workout pants on right now. Not that you can tell, <laughs> but I do. Um, you know, like I dress for utility rather than, um, I, you know, I don't walk around my home in high heels. I have my sneakers on and that, you know, like you, so you consider your lifestyle when you're picking out your wardrobe, right? Same as if we were going to the store and to purchase your clothes. So you go through your store and you look for things you want to try on because you maybe you don't know how they're going to fit you to your unique um, body. And it also has to not only fit right, but it also has to be in a style that, that you would want to wear. Okay. So for me, I'm not interested in clothes that are going to show a lot of my boobs or like ride up and show my belly or, you know, booty shorts are not my thing. <laughs> so like I, I always consider like, okay, well, what's my style? You know, I like more classy clothes. I like to look put together. I like to look, um, you know, like, like a, I like to look stylish. You know, I try not to look like a frumpy stay at home mom. I want to look nice. I don't want to look, um, you know, like, you know, like I don't care, you know, like sweatpants or, you know, you know what I mean? Like I, cause then if I'm wearing that, I have a harder time being motivated to do something. But when I at least get dressed for the day, I feel like I can do stuff, you know? So I never wear pajamas all day long, but that, that's just a side thing. So anyway, so you go through your store and you look for things that you want to try on. Um, you're not sure it's going, how it's going to fit with your unique body and your style, but you're willing to give it a shot right? You're not gonna, um, you know, you might be skeptical, but you're like, well, 
I'm here, let me just try it on, right? And and so maybe you like the color, but you're not sure about the cut or whatever, but you're willing to go ahead and try whatever it is on. And that's kind of like an eating program or a diet program, right? You're like, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. Maybe I'll give it a try. You know, you're not sure how it's gonna fit with your unique body and style, but you'll give it a shot. So you take it off the rack and maybe you go, um, you know, maybe you take four or five different things off the racks and you go ahead and try it on. And you're willing to be wrong, right? You're willing for the outfit not to fit, or you're willing to, to like fail at the outfit not working out, or, or that it's just like, oh, ugh, this looked way better on the mannequin, or you're pleasantly surprised, right? You pick something maybe on a whim and like, oh my goodness, these are the, the pants I've waited for my whole life, right? <laughs> like you're willing to be wrong in hopes that you get it right. Okay, and really like finding an eating plan, um, finding a weight loss strategy, that's really this similar strategy, right? You wanna try things and be willing to be wrong because it not, doesn't mean anything about you. It just means like you tried it, it didn't fit you the way you were hoping it would and you put it back and then you try something else. You're like willing to fail forward and keep trying things until you find the thing that you really want or that works for you. And then you, you, you know, you find that, that outfit and you, you, you wear it all the time, right? It's kind of, that's like your, your weight loss strategy. You, you know, you try things out until you find what works and you, you, you're willing to fail at it until you find what works because you know there's something out there for you. And so you don't give up and you don't make it mean something about you when you don't find what you're looking for. So you go into a store, maybe you find nothing in the store that you like, right? That doesn't mean like you're a failure. It just means like that store didn't offer what you were looking for and you go to the next store over, right? It doesn't have to mean anything about you. It just means like they didn't have what you needed and you're gonna go to the next thing. Um, and I think sometimes though, what winds up happening is when we, maybe start an eating plan or we start a weight loss program or we start a diet and it doesn't work out for us, we make it mean something about us. Whereas it's like you learn from it, what did work for you? And then go and then build on it instead of feeling like a failure and then saying, okay, I'm never gonna do that again. Or like, there's no hope for me. Or, you know, like, what are you gonna do? If, if you go to a store and you don't find anything you want, like, does that just mean you're gonna walk around naked from now on? No, you'll, be, you'll just keep trying till you find something that works, right? And a weight loss program um, is the same thing, or an eating plan is really the same thing. You'll just keep going until you learn, until you figure out what it is um, that you were missing, okay? So you're willing to be wrong and not like the outfit at all when you go and try it on. But you use the information, you learn about yourself, and then you can refine, you head back out to the floor of the store, and then you refine the search for your perfect outfit armed with more knowledge about what works for you and what doesn't work for you. Okay, so you could say, oh, you know, A-line skirts just make me look terrible. But, um, you know, with the skirts with the flare, those adorable on me, right? You know that about you because you tried on an A-line skirt and you tried on a skirt with a flare and now you know, oh, those skirts don't look good on me, but these do, so let me try it on in this color because I know that color looks really good on me too, right? Like you know what doesn't work for you because you were willing to be wrong okay so you try on um when it when it comes to an eating plan you can try on a new way of eating and you can try on new food flavors and you can try on new habits to help change your eating patterns and and then maybe you um don't like it maybe you're like Ugh, if i eat another salad I might die because <laughs> I can't take it anymore. I'm not a buddy, you know, or you could say, wow, I had no idea that this fruit or this vegetable that I thought was so exotic is actually really simple, really filling, really delicious. And I really like it on all these different foods. I'm so glad I found it, right? You would never know that if you weren't willing to try it. So try new food flavors, try a new eating plan, try out implementing new habits or new eating patterns. For an example, over the summer, I'm like, you know, I wanna get rid of the last 10 pounds of my baby weight from the last baby. And I'm like, maybe I'll try fasting. There's a lot of buzz about it. And I really am, I hate dieting and I hate being hungry. I'll just let you know that right now. And actually the whole the whole premise of the health and wellness blueprint is a non-diet approach to weight loss. But fasting is a thing and I actually had inflammation 
So really, I was like, okay, I have a lot of inflammation. Let me see if fasting helps. Well, needless to say, I like gained weight instead of losing weight because when I finally let myself eat, I would gobble my food because I was so hungry. And I'm like, you know what? This way of eating is not for me. I'm going right back to how I teach people how to eat the right way. And that's like making peace with food, allowing it, allowing myself to taste it, sitting down, savoring it, you know, like that is the right way and that is what works for me and that is what helped me lose 60 pounds like that is the way to eat with peace without chaos without gobbling like all these things right so but but i was willing to fail and willing to try it and see like let me let me let me try it and let my clients know like you know what i was not a winner maybe you can do it but it's definitely not for me and i actually had um you know, I actually had a bad experience with it where I was, I actually wound up gaining weight. So no, I'm not doing that, right? I'm not going to recommend it because I found like it messed with my brain <laughs> instead of actually helping me with the inflammation. And and ironically, what I found that helped with my inflammation was eating whole nutritious superfoods. Um, and so like that helped, but not eating um, did not help. Okay, but I wouldn't have known that unless I was willing to try it and be wrong. And I was wrong. <laughs> so there you go. Anyway, so, you know, be willing to try a new way of eating. Be willing to try new flavors. Like if you are someone who always is, um, you know, you like fast food, you like the salty food, you like packaged food, you really enjoy it. Like you really can't imagine life without potato chips and you really can't imagine life without um, sweets and candy. I would just encourage you like still have it then, but just plan ahead for it so it doesn't feel like this rare treat that you have to, um, you know, like secretly eat or eat real quick because if you eat quick and don't pay attention, it doesn't count, right? Our, that's how our brains tell us, you know? Instead, like, okay, make your food plan 24 hours ahead of time like I teach you and, and then put in like 10 potato chips, right? And sit there and savor and slowly eat those 10 potato chips like they are the last meal you'll ever eat on the face of the earth. Now, a few things might happen. You might, one, discover you really don't like the way greasy potato chips actually taste. They've always just been this forbidden food for you. And now all of a sudden that you're letting yourself eat them, you're like, oh, there's nothing really awesome about this at all. <laughs> or, you know, you find like, well, that was delicious, but I, you know, I'm shocked that 10 potato chips actually fill me up. You know, I, I think I tell this story um, I'm not sure if I've told you before, but like I used to eat the blizzards like those were like my my jam and we would I would try to like get everybody to have ice cream like by Friday, you know, and so we would have, um, you know, we we'd put the little boys to bed and then we'd get like the teenagers and then we'd make an order for Dairy Queen and my husband would run out and get Dairy Queen and he'd come back with my blizzard and I would eat it and it was never big enough, you know, but once I allowed myself to um, have it and like I started the way I that it started my year of grace and so I would plan for the blizzard it lost 100% of its allure he he ordered one for me at, at my request and brought it home like the one night it was about like I'd, I'd allow myself to have it like once a month right that was my my thing and I would plan for it and so it was like that once a month and I had it and I, I trained myself to sit and savor every bite and everything. And it was so disappointing. It didn't taste that good. It tasted almost like um, like plasticky. And it wasn't cold um, in my mouth, like the way I thought ice cream should taste. It was just a letdown. And then it wasn't a matter, because I actually finally, for the first time in my life, actually tasted, instead of just gobbling, um, I realized I didn't really like it. Like it, it was shocking to shocking to me. <laughs> I can't say that enough. It was shocking to me that I actually didn't like it that much, you know. And 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 that was like a large blizzard. Like they, like I'm telling you, there it couldn't have been big enough um, to satisfy me because I wasn't. I thought it was a blizzard I was craving, but really it was like needs that were not being fulfilled that I was craving. And there was no blizzard big enough to fulfill those needs. It was really other things. But then once I was getting those needs fulfilled, the blizzard really lost its allure. It didn't even taste good to me anymore. And and even now, and that was four or five years ago, five years, six years ago um, now, that, you know, even now, like if, if we get ice cream, most of the time I don't really want it. But if I do want it, I'll get like a kitty size, so like one scoop, and it's just hard. Like I just get like one scoop of hard, like chocolate, of course, ice cream. But even then, it's not, um, 
it just really lost its allure. Once I gave myself permission to eat it and taste it, um, it, it, it really, I, I got over it pretty quick too. So it was very interesting. I, I challenge you on that this week. Try, try that and see how it goes. Okay, but back to our, back to my little analogy here with clothes shopping and, and, uh, and eating programs. Um, be willing to try out new foods and try out new habits. Try out your eating patterns. And if you have only just started joining me, go back to the very beginning of the podcast. Um, it's like the first five podcast episodes are the uh, weight loss challenge that I give to my email subscribers. So you can go ahead and listen and then start implementing your weight loss right away. And then if you like what you've learned, join the Health and Wellness Blueprint. I have it for only a dollar. And then you can go in there and get the all nine foundational weight loss classes and my weight loss ebook right away. And then um, if you like it and you learn, then stay. Every week we meet at 10 a.m. It's actually really helpful for people when it comes to weight loss because we don't just talk about a food plan. That's in there and I'm here to help you. I'm not a registered dietitian, but chances are if you're a yo-yo dieter, you know what to eat in order to lose weight because you've done it before. What you're looking for is like that missing piece of like, why do I always have to gain it back? Like life happens, I'm doing really good, something happens and then I forget about my food plan and um, you know, it's just like I'm all in and I'm just eating whatever because I can't cope with everything, you know? And that's where I teach you all the other strategies, right? That, that gap that exists of why you gain that weight back. You know, you got the eating in, in line, but it's that gap that uh, diets never address. And that's what I talk about. It's not like the psychology of weight loss. I have my undergrad in psychology and then my, my master's degree in health education. So I just teach weight loss strategies and I teach you like um, holistic uh, weight loss strategies. So it's like habit change, um, you know, like just different ways for you to approach your life and give you strategies so that food is not your fallback um, for every situation that comes up for you, okay? So, you know, you may be for the, for like, maybe you try out thought work, right? And um, you create new triggers and neural pathways, you know, as, a, as an outfit, <laughs> right? You could try out your thought work. I teach you how to do that. You can create new triggers and new neural pathways. So rather than something happening and you turn to food to eat, um, something will happen and you can you can intentionally create a new path for your brain to respond rather than turning to food you'll turn to a different habit instead that benefits you and your health okay um, so you try strategies out that fit into your life that move the needle forward with your weight loss and actually that's exactly what I teach in the health and wellness blueprint and I also give you uh, that on the podcast as well I'll give you some a little taste of how we roll in the blueprint right so you try out strategies that fit into your life to help move the needle forward with your weight loss so maybe you hire a coach or you join the weight loss program like the health and wellness blueprint or you hire a, it's, it's almost like you're hiring a personal stylist who works um in the store that can help you with your unique circumstances, right? And then we craft a tailor-made program that's unique to you, exactly like a perfect put together outfit, okay? That's basically what I do, all right? And so maybe you see something you like in a store, but you don't even believe that you can try it on. And so often we think, well, that sounds good, but I don't know if I could do it, right? Like you may be thinking right now, like, well, that sounds nice, but I've always tried on other things and the health and wellness blueprint, it's probably not going to work for me either because I've already had all this other evidence of other weight loss programs that don't work for me. So I'm not even going to bother trying that on, right? And so like, you know, you might, you might like the idea, but you, you lack the belief in yourself that you, that you could even do it right? That it's, um, it's not for you, even though it's what you desperately want. And actually, that's why I make it a dollar. So you can try it and not f beat yourself up about it, right? Um, and maybe you've tried on a, a, an outfit in the past and it didn't work out for you. Um, are you afraid to try it on again? Or, or, or you're like, maybe you're more skeptical, like it's not going to work this time, right? But your body changes, seasons of your life change, um, your tastes change, your preferences change, your maturity changes. You're not the same person you were five years ago, you're 10 years ago, right? Strategies that may have worked for you then might not now. And things that work that didn't work for you might work for you now, okay? Uh, maybe now you're more... Um, willing to try food uh, that maybe you thought, maybe you're a super picky eater and um, 
you know, maybe now though, that you're more mature, maybe now you're more willing to give it a chance and, and try things that are different. Um, you know, so it'd be like, um, maybe you also like, you know exactly what you want and you just need the cashier to ring you up, right? You just need, you know, you have in your head exactly what you want. You just have to get to the store, buy it and you're in, right? That's just like the health and wellness food plan. You know, you're there, you want it. You just need the cashier to ring you up, ring up your order, right? You're just determined, you're focused, you're in, you don't need to try anything on. You know what you want, you know who you are and you're ready to go right? That's a good place to be. Um, maybe you bought an outfit because it sounds like everything you want and then you envision yourself in it. But then when you try it on, you hate it. And it's not, it's not where you thought um, you would be and you just want to give up, right? You feel hopeless, right? You feel defeated because you feel like I am never going to figure this out. I'm never going to figure out the weight loss. I'm never going to figure out how to find this perfect outfit, right? They're kind of like a, related in a way, okay? But the thing is like, you're not going to walk around naked, okay? And there's no reason for you to walk around overweight or obese and in pain um, with your body aching. You, you don't stop shopping because you hit a road bump or because you can't find that outfit you like, right? You try a different store. You try on different outfits. You just keep trying till you get what you want. And, and you're learning and you're failing forward and you're willing to fail and you're willing to learn because you're willing to just keep moving forward till you hit your goal. And even, even failing forward, it might feel frustrating to you, but it is progress. I, I don't know who said it, but it's like, you know, football, a football game is one in the inches. And that's just like hitting your goals. It's one in the inches. Like you just keep going till you get to where you want to be because you'll learn more about yourself and who you are on the other end of that is so different than who you are when you start out but you have to be willing to fail and you have to be willing to do things wrong and you have to be willing to be vulnerable and 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 be willing to have the belief that it is possible for you to achieve what it is you want to achieve okay so i wanted to give you that to think on this week and i hope you found it encouraging that if you're feeling stuck in a rut um if you're feeling like oh, i don't want to try another weight loss strategy i don't want to do this but i but you know in your heart like you also don't want to stay at this weight anymore um join the health and wellness blueprint it's just a dollar i purposely make it like that so you can at least have the the nine foundational videos and the ebook to get you started and then it's like, if you don't like it, then you don't have to continue, right? It's just a trial and then that's it. If it's not for you, then you can move on with your life, but at least you've tried it and hopefully you've learned something and then you can apply it in future. But hopefully you love it and you stay and then you keep learning and, and then you're slowly but surely, like I'm get, every week we meet and every week I give you a new tool. Like we just had a, a live Zoom call and I went over how to use your strengths and I, I went over some workshops that you can do with yourself and I gave uh, websites that you can go to visit to get a free strengths assessment and then how to use that information and apply it into your life and I give examples. And so every week we're learning new things, you know. Um, and then they, I open it up for questions and I can answer any other questions that they have. Where are they getting stuck? Where, what hurdles are they coming into? Are they having a hard time sticking to their um, food plan that they've created for themselves? And then we'll help, I can help them, uh, you know, figure out where are they getting stuck? Why is this happening to them, right? So, you know, you join now, you'll come to next week's live Zoom call and um, I can help you out there too. All right. Well, I hope you have a great week. I will talk to you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.